Revelation 890. From the 29th of April 1939. Look into the beyond. Maturity of faith. Free will. A wise decision of the Heavenly Father denies the earthly children the conscious looking into the hereafter, because complete knowledge about it would impair man in the freedom of the will, since their striving would now be founded in a compulsory state and therefore a perfectly free spirit being could not develop, what however is absolutely necessary, if it is to be able to fulfill the task in the hereafter, which is its purpose from eternity. Therefore it is also not permissible that man, as long as they stay on earth in blindness of spirit and mature state of soul, are given a clear picture about the work of the spirit beings in the hereafter, because this would be just as unsuitable to stimulate man to work on his soul. Therefore also the announcements are given in such a way that they do not oblige man to accept them but it lies completely in the will of the individual to accept them as truth or to reject them. All efforts of the spiritual beings in this respect extend only to an earthly being which is already in a certain state of maturity, so that it pays more attention to its inner life and its striving upward is facilitated accordingly. Then a sure faith is already a prerequisite, because without it, it would be completely impossible to receive spiritual gifts, only the temporary weakness of faith must still be overcome, but the freedom of will remains completely untouched, because the will of it is already active in itself out of its own drive, if the earthly child cultivates such a connection from the beyond to earth and makes an effort to keep it up. But it is unspeakably valuable for the earthly children to make use of all announcements arising in such a way. To accept them in deep faith and to draw consequently likewise from a life and grace giving source. There again faith is a prerequisite, because only from a believing man, such gift will be received, therefore faith will never be a compulsory condition, while to the faithless man such a gift from heaven still seems unacceptable and doubtful, if not completely unbelievable. For a boundary is set between heaven and earth, which can be crossed only by the man who stands in deep faith. Keep this in mind when you consider the peculiarity of such gifts. Know that the Father in heaven considers everyone according to need, worthiness and merit but that he would also like to bestow his grace on people who do not yet recognize him, that it is therefore also possible for the spiritually immature person to make use of the evidence of divine activity given in love and kindness in order to attain maturity of soul. But that he must be free to shape himself in complete free will into what his final destiny is. Into a being of light which as a child of God has to fulfill the most glorious task in eternity. Amen.